What's going on there guys? Good evening. It is the Earthmaster here on this Sunday evening, uh, January 2nd, 2022, about 6.13 p.m. West Coast time here in California, out here with Missy Mimis. How's it going guys? And uh, just going to do an update video here, watching some earthquake activity once again come into the uh, Solomon Islands right now. You can see a signature of a pretty good looking earthquake, but also watching earthquake activity ramp up there in the Northern California area around the Petrolia area southern cal or the uh, southern end of the subduction zone of the cascadia been watching uh, quite a few spikes pop up all day and of course nothing from the usgs when it comes to reporting uh, these earthquakes even if they're small they should be reporting them but looks as though they flip the switch when it comes to uh, well not reporting anything into the pacific northwest or the uh, northern california area all right, looking at the latest quake out here on the globe. What do we got here? A couple of small earthquakes down in the Southern California region, uh, right around the San Jacinto Fault area. Kind of lighten, lighten up a little bit. Also a swarm of movement around the, uh, uh, what is that? I'm guessing idle. I, is that I, idle wild? I think. Kind of looks, I don't know. We probably just slaughtered that name. Or idle wood. <laughs> idle. To me, it looks like Italy would, or yeah, it, 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 well, who knows? Who knows? Well, I, I don't know. I think I'm, we're making it worse. <laughs> we're making it worse. We'll jump on. We'll continue to move on. But uh, earthquake activity in a swarm fashion here around the San Jacinto Fault area. It uh, looks like right around this little baldy mountain region. Uh, some microquakes kicking off there. Pretty deep movement, too. Looking at uh, 13 to 14 kilometer de uh, depths for those earthquakes. 16 kilometers up here around Mountain Center. Some deep activity here taking place uh, just off the San Jacinto Fault area. Uh, you can see a couple segments there of the San Jacinto Fault zone itself, uh, but just kind of watching that. Remember, we had a pretty good swarm over here on the um, the um, Elsinore Fault system, a segment of it at least. That today looks like it's calming down a little bit, but getting some migration of pressure here to the east. Uh, of course, right up against the sleeping giant known as the San Andreas Fault. Uh, working our way over here around the concrete jungles of LA. Some movement uh, right around the 405 it looks like. 1.3 on the scale for a microquake. 4.1 kilometers into the area uh, around Los Angeles. But uh, overall not a whole lot of movement there currently taking place in Southern California except for that little microquake and uh, a couple ones within the last hour. Ridgecrest region. This activity here around the Garlock Fault is from last night, I believe. It has not dropped off. Uh, we have not seen any renewed movement along the Garlock Fault. Uh, just a little, little earthquake activity up around north of the Ridgecrest area, around the uh, southern Sierra Nevada Fault Zone, it looks like, uh, where that 1.0 just kicked up. Uh, we are seeing kind of movement in the Nevada area ramp up here with a 3.0 occurring earlier, way earlier today, out there northwest of Tonopah and some further microquakes around that region into the San Andreas Fault and northward around the Calaveras Fault, at least in this area. Some microquakes kicking up just south of the bay and also up along the coastline. Um, looks like Point Sur, uh, is that around Point Sur? Yeah, uh, 1.1 and a 2.5 near the San Simeon. Simeon? Hmm, I think we just, I don't know. No, Simeon. <laughs> why, is that hard, why is that word so hard for me to pronounce? You know how many people have corrected me on that? <laughs> on San, San Simeon? Yeah. I believe that's correct. But it's Simi, Sim, Simeon. E, Un. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. I hope. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> it racks my brain. It's like, I don't know. It just. I believe that's right. It just looks like a Simon, you know, like no, San Simon. If, if it was Simon, it would be Simon. M O N. No, e. Mion. No, <laughs> <laughs> Mion. That's pretty good. Okay, we'll move on past that, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Had to make a little light of that, man. It's just been bugging me. Been getting <laughs> slaughtered with comments there on that. <clears throat> okay, up north, northern part of the Cascadia, seen some movement on the Explorer plate. We kind of discussed that a little bit. 4.4 earthquake uh earthquakes canada has this as a 4.7 no renewed movement yet on the usgs map but they've been kind of shady with reporting earthquake activity here in the pacific northwest so we'll check that out here on a different agency here in a minute southeast alaska uh looking a little active 3.0 earthquake up and down this region here 
and some activity uh, around the Anchorage and Fairbanks area as well. Some deeper movement along the trench. Look at that, pretty quiet. Look at this. Wow. Look at this absence of earthquake activity here. Like completely, completely dead. It's been a while since we've seen that. Uh, and not a whole lot of new movement either. Some of this activity older. Actually, I believe this Philippine or this uh, uh, earthquake around the Guam area, fairly new, but uh, only a 5.0. This one's pretty deep, 142.3 kilometers. But north and, and east over here, look at that, just absent of movement. Uh, I did see another uh, earthquake around this time of the Guam, Guam quake. 5.0 in the Indonesia area, that one deep as well. So two deep movement uh, earthquakes here within a short time of each other uh, in this region. Still waiting for possible large scale adjustment up here to the north. I mean, it's just building. The accumulated stress along these regions are very high in a year. Can't remember the exact measurements, but uh, they can definitely accumulate a lot of stress in a short amount of time in those subduction zones. A uh, little earthquake around the China area. Looks like a 5.4 uh, way earlier this morning and just a couple scattered out and about uh, around the Middle East and the Greece area. Um, we did see a swarm of movement down in the South Sandwich Islands area. Looks like there was one more earthquake. Uh, that one, a 5.0 earlier today. Some of this movement here earlier, which was included in the update earlier. But uh, what do we got? South America? South America's pretty quiet lately, too. It's Some deeper movement, though, once again, in yeah, this region. Compared to, like, was it last week or so? Week, week and a half? We had all that, tons of activity there, and now it's just, it's just dwindling a little, but deep. Uh, let's, let's see, Puerto Rico area. Things pretty calm here. This is the all magnitudes, right? I feel like I'm looking at uh, like 2.5 and above, but there's not a whole lot of movement down here in the Puerto Rico area either. The uh, 3.6 um, earlier this morning, and it looks like one within the last hour, a 2.5. But man, overall, general activity pretty quiet for the most part. Uh, even on Hawaii, let's go out here to the Big Island, and nothing within the last hour. Looks like some scattered minor activity in the southeast flank and a couple up around the uh, Mauna Loa area but uh, overall man things are just looking I don't know just looking eerie calm before the storm I'm still thinking the west coast region though is looking pretty uh, up next you know up next on the plate for some earthquake activity so we will see what kicks off here looking at the trimmer I want to pull that up here we'll kick up the trimmer map We'll refresh that to see if we got it right, and they're showing nothing. Went from 200 epicenters of trimmer last night, roughly around this area, northern California, northward into parts of Washington, but nothing, absolutely nothing on the trimmer map tonight, which I find very odd. Um, I can understand maybe toning down a little bit, but there is none. There's just no trimmer whatsoever in the uh, Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, let's look at Yellowstone here while we're on it. Not a whole lot going on there either. No microquakes to report. I believe these are ice quakes. Kind of talked about that a little bit uh, earlier. Some ice quakes going on there. I don't believe that's uh, tectonic in nature and ground movement anyway. Uh, the rest of the country with uh, earthquake activity in the Pecos, Texas region and one around Midland. Uh, activity just kind of at a standstill at the moment. Yeah, even Intermountain West is dwindling. Yeah, it's, it was, it, picking up it was kind it of was, forming that line of movement yeah. up here. Now and it's uh, common again. Kind of just toning down and uh, not looking very active. Let's check out Earthquakes Canada and see if they got any new movement up in the Canada area. Looks as though uh, still got the list here. At least the latest quake is going to be that 4.7 at the northern end of the Cascadia on the Explorer Plate. That 4.7 occurring at about 10 kilometers below the surface. And since then, I don't see any renewed movement on this map here. And uh, a little swarm up here over the last uh, couple days, it looks like, in this region. But man, things are just kind of completely calmed down. So yeah, it's hard to say what's going on here. I do want to show you guys a uh, abandoned Oregon uh, station, seismograph station. There's definitely some activity occurring up there 
in the uh, abandoned Oregon area, the seismograph station over the last 24 hours or so. Seeing some movement, um, it goes, uh, pretty much looks like it goes from nothing up to some activity kicking up there. Uh, and this was also confirmed on some other uh, nearby seismograph stations. I was checking out this one down here in the um, uh, Brookings area as well. And these guys are showing on the seismographs pretty much about the same thing. Some earthquake activity really ramping up here towards the end. Uh, so I'm not 100% certain about what's going on there. It does look like earthquake activity. And it, uh, unless it's wind events, not for sure what the, uh, uh, the weather is up there on the uh, southern Oregon coastline. But uh, that activity definitely showing up on a uh, broad area of seismograph stations. See that? Oh, wow. Kind of right at the end, too. So not 100% certain what's going on. Some localized earthquakes there, it looks like. Uh, of course, none of that being reported by the USGS at all in any of the uh, uh, areas here in Northern California or Southern Oregon. Yeah, we've been watching the seismographs pretty well. And uh, spikes coming in. They do. They come in, They're but they don't in, get but reported. They don't get reported. So that's... There's... Solomon Islands earthquake right there that was coming into the live seismographs 4.8 and uh, looks like over here in the South America region of 4.3 as well within the last hour yeah uh, but West Coast look at this still pretty pretty quiet just is eerie way, is there a way to check EMSC for 1.0 and above I have no clue I don't really go through the site too much just for the simple fact that maybe they're reporting something maybe around the area where maybe the USGS is not. Yeah, I'll look into it and see. It might be a possibility, but... Uh, I might be able to look on this. A little bit of movement around the... Uh, let's see, let me look here. And not a whole lot going on in the Canary Islands either. Pretty quiet over there as well. So yeah, just kind of coming to a standstill here, folks, at the moment. Uh, something popping out here, I'm sure, pretty darn soon. Yeah, EMSC is not reporting anything off our coast as well, for mm. all magnitudes. For all magnitudes, okay. So either way, it seismos don't lie, though. <laughs> yeah, I know. When you see earthquake activity coming in, it's obviously earthquake activity. Exactly. Uh, some of that movement, like we mentioned, we've seen some activity on the Petrolia Station, a well-defined spike. Spike. That's an earthquake there in the Solomon Islands. I believe that was a, uh, what did I say, 4.8 around that region. Yeah. And also some activity in the uh, BC area. I've been watching these odd spikes all day pop up. Um, and they, they look odd. They just don't look like normal earthquakes there. Uh, the station here is up in the BC area. And, uh, of course, the Petrolia has been showing some signatures of uh, some small earthquakes, but none of it being reported there in the uh, Cascadia subduction zone. So who knows, maybe this is all just a uh, coincidence or maybe it's something big brewing. We'll have to keep an eye on it and uh, we'll definitely watch it pretty closely. That's why I kind of run these live seismographs so we can watch them and stay up to date on current earthquake activity, even though it doesn't get reported. All right, folks, uh, solar weather looking pretty quiet as well. Um, let's go ahead and run, do a recap of that real quick on the solar weather. Um, dot ham station or what is it dot net <laughs> dot ham I don't think there's a dot ham yet right <laughs> get your bacon no. okay a um, little bit of solar fireworks are ringing the new year when was that that was this morning that was yesterday yesterday's M1 right there solar flare activity though pretty quiet only a 50% chance of sea flare and sunspots dying out and looking pretty boring here on the Aurora forecast. Not a whole lot going on at all there on the sun, folks. Kind of quiet. Little coronal hole, it looks like. Could be facing the Earth side pretty soon. Uh, but overall, sunspot activity uh, is uh, it's disappearing pretty quickly. All right, guys. Have a good night. Uh, Monday tomorrow, right? Yeah. It is Monday. And I can't believe it's already a new year. Just got a 6.1 earthquake right now into the Vanuatu area uh, so coming crazy. through the EMSC. Let's see if that's going to show up on the seismographs here. 
uh, in the Vanuatu area. It should show up pretty significantly, at least on the um, Solomon Island station. But I don't, I don't believe that's a 6.1 that came in there uh, on this station. Yeah, that one doesn't necessarily look big enough, right? Yeah, it doesn't look like a, a big signature of 6.1. Uh, but the EMSC just reporting it. Did you get that notification I, uh, as just, well? Just now. So weird that that just happened. Let me see here. I don't know why. I just had this feeling I needed to keep an eye on the on that. I turned my light up, and then that came. <laughs> we'll wait for we'll wait for the update to pop up here on the uh, live seismos and see if uh, that does show up on these stations because six point one is going to show up. Um, around the Solomon Islands and possibly even the Japan station. It does pick up movement for sure at a distance in a 6.1, somewhat pretty strong, but EMSC pretty, uh, they're fast on it. They're fast, but sometimes they're dead wrong yeah. on the, uh, the correctiveness of the, uh, of the quakes. Go ahead and go over to the EMSC real quick and see if these guys are reporting it. Now these guys aren't reporting it. So what was what just got sent out? I know that that reminds me of the one that the, the false was, phantom the false earthquake phantom quake like they did in the U.S. the other day. So if you're like me, guys, and you have a, a bunch of earthquake apps on your phone, you probably got notified of a 6.1 magnitude earthquake near Vanuatu. Nothing on the EMSC charts yet. Uh, looking at the live seismographs here, uh, man, I am not seeing a 6.1 out there on any of the seismographs. So. Good possibility that, uh, well, Another phantom, quake, phantom quake, what are they stating? Oh, it got downgraded to a uh, 4.8. That's the one that you just looked at on the EMSC yeah. side, I think. So, but when I went to click on that 6.1, yeah, it, it goes to 4.8. I mean, when we looked on there, there was, there was a 4.8, it looked like, on the map. Yeah, well, look, no, 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 USGS reporting a 5.9 now. So, an up, so oh. I don't know, upgrade, downgrade? False quake? But yeah, because I don't see it on the seismos, do you? I don't. Let's wait for uh, one more update. Maybe we'll see uh, if that comes in or not. So 121 kilometers for a 5.9, supposedly. And uh, the Solomon Island station is, I don't know. It just popped in right here. 122 kilometers. Yeah. On, on this app now. But see, there's that signature right here, but that does not look like almost a six-pointer. What would it give the um, timestamps on them? Okay, so timestamp here, it looks like the earthquake began at about 0 to 12. Okay. What's it say for that earthquake? This gives, doesn't give me UTC time, this one. What well, does it give you any time at all? Uh, 6.09. Oh, nine? So, so that was 30 minutes ago. Huh. They're both a bit late, if that's the case. <laughs> I know. That's really late. Uh, that, all I know is I don't see... Is timestamp the same? What do you mean? Because it, it, it was re reported at 6.09, is what it... Yeah, the timestamp up here in the right corner shows 5.9, 121-kilometer depth, depth at 6.09 p.m. So, looks as though possibly that is the indeed the signature right there on the Solomon Island station. It just doesn't look like it. I know. EMSC showing a 4.8. USGS now saying it's a 5.9. Who knows? Maybe they're watching this just having fun messing with us. Right. Right? Let's, let's put a big earthquake on the globe and see what these guys do. Just take it down and then regrade it and then pretend like it never existed. <laughs> that sounds like something they do, right? Right. Sunday evening. All right, guys, we're going to jump out here. Supposedly a 5.9 earthquake just coming in uh, to the uh, Solomon Islands area, Vanuatu area, it looks like. Uh, 121 kilometer depth for that earthquake. We'll see if that uh, holds true or not. We will chat at you guys a little bit later. Stay safe out there, everyone. Have a good night, guys.